In this demonstration, we're just going to wire a very simple circuit connected to the Arduino. Uh, all we're going to do is the blinking light example, which we've already done, except we're going to have the Arduino blink uh, an LED that is not built into the Arduino. So uh, we're just going to walk through this just so you get the idea of how you connect something to the Arduino and make it work. Now, if you look at the Arduino right now, it is now plugged in through USB. So it's getting power, and it's already running the blinking example. So you can see the little LED on there blinking off and on. That's the LED that's connected to pin 13. That's blinking off and on. Uh, just to let you know that program, that's exactly what's running in the Arduino right now. So before we wire this together, I will disconnect the Arduino from power. That's always safe. Okay, so we'll put that to the side for a second. Now let's look at the other components we've got. We've got an LED right here. There we go, LED. Got a resistor. This is 220 ohm resistor. There we are. The two uh, leads. Resistor. And we got a couple of wires. Red one and black. Right, got some wires. So we're going to wire this together. What we want to do is we want to connect this LED up to pin 13 of our Arduino. So uh, one side of the LED has to be connected to pin 13, the anode, the positive side. The negative side is going to be connected through the resistor to the ground. Now, why through the resistor? The reason why we have to connect it through the resistor is because if we don't, then our circuit will have very little resistance, uh, just very low resistance, whatever's in the LED. It'll have so little resistance that we'll have a lot of current going through. And this LED is rated at 20 milliamps, I believe. So if we drive it with more than 20 milliamps, we will likely destroy it. So we need to give it some resistance just to reduce the amount of current. 220, resist, 220 ohm resistor right here should be sufficient for that. So let's wire them together. First, let's put the resistor in, and we can plug it into two arbitrary holes. Okay, so we plug it into two holes here and here. You can see that. Then uh, we'll take the LED. Now, the LED, we need to connect it to the resistor. But we need to connect the cathode to the resistor. The anode, we want to connect to pin 13. So the cathode, if we look at this, a little hard to see, but put it on my hand here. One leg is shorter than the other. So the short leg is a cathode that's going to go to a negative side to the ground, toward the ground. And the, uh, the long leg, the anode, is the positive side that's going to go to pin 13. So we'll take it in, take and plug in the short-legged side into the same row as the resistor. Okay, so now it is connected. They are on the same row, so they're connected. And the long leg side will just shove into any other row. Say, so, Force that in here. There we go. Okay. So now we've got the LED connected to the resistor, but uh, this is in no way connected to the Arduino. So now let's go for that. We're going to take one, we'll take our black wire and connect that to one side of the resistor, and we're going to connect that to ground. Now we're going to get ground from our Arduino. So we have some grounds, several grounds labeled on the Arduino, and here goes one right here. So let's plug it in. Yeah, yeah, you can see we wired it into the ground uh, into the, uh, the Arduino. So one end of the resistor is connected to ground of the Arduino. Now the other wiring we need to do is to take this LED, the cath, the anode rather, plug uh, this red into the same row as the anode, and now connect the anode to pin 13. And what will happen then, pin 13, yep. What will happen then is that when we power this on, the LED on the board will still blink, but this other LED off the on the the um, on the breadboard will also blink and they'll blink together because they're both connected to pin 13. That's what should happen. So let's go and power up. Let's get our uh, USB cable. Connect the Arduino. Power. Ah. And yes, yes indeed, they are blinking together. As you can see, they both blink together and everything worked. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 